if you leave this alone too long, you may run out of time. The only thing keeping Nova Scotia from becoming an island is the Chignecto Isthmus. Its low elevation combined with a rising sea level is making the mayor of Amherst, which sits right on the border, nervous. Anywhere from 25 to 33 percent of the town of Amherst could be permanently underwater from rising sea level. And that's not even talking about a storm surge that could temporarily flood the town. That's permanent flooding. In terms of goods, when both the highway and rail line that connect the two provinces of New Brunswick and Nova Scotia are taken into consideration. Between 50 and 55 million dollars a day go across that isthmus. And it's not just trade that's in danger. The Nature Conservancy of Canada says the isthmus is critical for wildlife and it's been working to protect it. It's a kind of a bottleneck for wildlife and plants. And what I mean by that is as roads have been made and lands have been cleared for uh, subdivision, forestry, agriculture, this type of thing, wildlife have lost their way in some cases. Grab paddle, come on. The poor thing's stuck. Sea level rise would add just another challenge. Moose are in critical decline in Nova Scotia where they're endangered, so protecting land along the New Brunswick border where they're thriving could help bolster the population. A $700,000 study funded by both the federal government and the two provinces is now looking to determine how to best move forward to protect the isthmus. Mayor Kogan hopes a solution is agreed upon soon because it could take years to implement. Obviously reducing the, the climate change by net zero energy and doing all of those right things is, is important, but also um, some way of mitigating the flood that will occur if the sea level rises. If you get a storm with a strong storm surge right at high tide, the timing comes together, we certainly could have a flood and that could happen next week.